On met plus une guitare. Dr. Lux, nice to meet you. I'm I'm Diana. Nice to meet you, Diana. Welcome to my practice. All right, and nice nice to be here. All right, so I so see we have here a one piano appointment for a head to toe examination. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had a head to toe assessment performed before, Diana? Um, yes, I have. Okay. How long ago? Um, I would say last year in like November. Was there anything abnormal that the doctor found during that assessment? I don't believe so. No. So I see here that I have your chart from your previous doctor. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure that I have all of the correct information. Can you please verify with me your date of birth? Um, November 20th, 2000. All right. And do you still have the same insurance? Um, yes. Okay. And can you please tell me if you've ever had a history of hypertension? Uh, I don't believe so, no. No hypertension. Um, how about diabetes? Diabetes? Mm, no. No diabetes. Any headaches or earaches that don't go away? Mm, I get headaches sometimes, but they typically go away. I think they're usually stress-induced. <laughs> stress-induced? Yeah. Okay. Do you have problems with stress usually? Um, just, just a lot of work. That's, that's pretty much what stresses me, but other than that, no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and how do you sleep at night? How many hours do you usually um, sleep for? I get the average amount of sleep, probably okay. like seven hours. Seven hours. And do you usually fall, fall asleep pretty fast or do you, you know, struggle to initiate sleep? Um, I can usually sleep pretty quickly. Very so. Cool. so no problems with mm -hmm. your sleep. All right. Any family history of any cancers, Diana? Um, mm. Excellent. Okay. And are you on any medication right now? Right now, um, I'm not. No, no medication. Do you exercise regularly? Yes, I do, okay. for the most part. <laughs> do you use tobacco or alcohol? Alcohol, here and there, no tobacco? No. No tobacco. And how many times a week do you usually use alcohol? Um, maybe like once a week, yeah. every two weeks. Very good. Do you have any allergies? I'm allergic to pollen. Pollen. And sesame seeds. Sesame seeds? Yeah. All right. And how is it trying to stay away from sesame seeds? Um, it can get a little bit hard. I know they're <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> they're literally everywhere. But for the most part, it's not too hard. I just got to remember to like ask <laughs> if they have sesame seeds when I eat it. And have you ever had an allergic reaction to them? Um, no, I haven't. Or I haven't really had the seeds, but sesame seed oil doesn't do much to me. So. Okay, that's good. And did anything change in the last year or so since you last had your head to toe assessment performed? Anything major? Surgeries, pains? Mm -hmm. Very good. So I think I have all of the information on your chart, which is now up to date. I'm going to just set this aside mm -hmm. and I'll put on my gloves and then we can begin the assessment. All right. Do you have any pain anywhere in your body right now? Mm -hmm. I have a little bit of pain in my back. But pretty sure it's just due to posture. Right here? It, somewhere oh. around there, yeah. All right. And any tingling sensations in your arms, your legs, or your face? No. Very good. 
Right, what I usually like to do with all my patients is a mental acuity test. Mm -hmm. And do you remember my name? Dr. Lux. Very good. So mental acuity, check. Yes. All right, I'm going to start off by listening to your heart and your lungs and I'll be listening for any abnormal sounds coming from your major organs. Okay. So, is it okay if I come close and put this on your heart? Mm -hmm. And just relax for me, just breathe normally. Okay. Okay, I'm listening for any murmurs, any abnormal sounds coming from your heart. to hear S1 and S2, no extra sounds, no S3 or S4, mm -hmm. which means that your heart works perfectly okay. I'm going to listen with the bell side as well. Very good. I'm going to listen to your lungs next. Take a deep breath in from me. And out. Deep breath in. And out. Okay, I can just breathe normally now. Not hearing any abnormalities, no signs of bronchitis or pneumonia, no signs of any infiltrates, just clear, clean sounds. Very good. All right, Diana, so perfectly healthy sounds coming from your heart and your lungs. Mm -hmm. I'm going to continue taking your vital signs and I'm going to check your temperature next. Have mm -hmm. you had any flu-like symptoms in the last two weeks? No, I haven't. Okay. Do you remember last time when you were sick? Mm, probably a couple months ago. Okay. Like five to six months five ago. To six. So I'm going to put this over your forehead and behind your ear. 98.3, so you do not have a fever. Let's check your pulse and your levels of oxygenation. Your index finger goes right here. And take a deep breath in for me. And exhale. Seventy six beats per minute and ninety nine percent oxygenation, which is very normal. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to check your uh, blood pressure next. Have you ever had this done before, Diana? Yes, I have. Yeah. Okay, so you know what to expect. Is this arm okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So let's slide this in right here. Hold this for me. All right. Let's make sure we uncross our legs and place your arm right there for me. And just relax.
excellent so 125 over 60 which is a very normal blood pressure Yay. A normal. yes mm -hmm. absolutely <laughs> Next up, I'm going to focus on your uh, head, your neck, your lymph nodes, and your jawline. Okay. Is it okay if I come close and touch your head? Mm -hmm. I'll be looking for cranial symmetry, any lumps or bumps, any tender area. So let me know if you do feel that. Okay. All right. You just close your eyes and relax. Your head is symmetric, not feeling any lumps or bumps, any pain at the top of your spine here when I press? Mm -mm. No pain. Pressing down on your mastoid process bones behind your ear. Do you feel any pain right there? Mm -mm. Let's check out your neck as well. No lumps or bumps, not feeling any masses. Mm -mm. Feeling above your clavicle on your right side. No lymph node enlargement noted. And your left clavicle normal I'm gonna check out your jawline next can you clench your teeth for me unclench very good No lymph node enlargement noted, no nodules. Mm -mm. Very good. I'm gonna check out your thyroid gland next. Barely palpable, which is what you want. Can you please look up for me and swallow? Very good. Thyroid moves up and down. And trachea is midline. No nodules or masses noted. Excellent. All right, Diana. Next up, I'm going to take a look at your scalp. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had any abnormalities of the scalp? Itchiness, dryness, dandruff? Mm, not really. No. Mm -hmm. Not that I can recall. Okay, very good. So if you can look that way for me, please. You can just close your eyes and relax. Just going to take a look at your scalp, which is very... Clean, no dandruff noted, no signs of psoriasis or ringworm, no folliculitis. All right. No dandruff. Hair distribution is normal. No signs of alopecia.
the color of your skull blends well with the color on your neck and your face. You have very beautiful hair. Thank you. You too. Thank you. You're welcome. So this side looks perfectly normal. I'm going to check out the other side as well. Very good. Alright Diana, so perfectly normal hair and scalp. I'm gonna focus on your face next. Okay. Have you ever felt any tingling sensations in your face? Mm, no. Mm -mm. Okay. So just by looking at you, I do see the expected symmetry. Your eyes are opening and closing together. No droopiness, no facial droopiness either no pitosis um, around the mouth, no sinosis. Mm. Your pupils are round, they have the expected size and shape in normal light condition. Mm. I'm going to just take a closer look with my light and perform a quick skin inspection. You can just close your eyes, just relax for me. Just making sure I'm not missing any external signs that may indicate any abnormality with your skin. Okay. Skin is reactive to my touch. Well perfused, no patches of dryness. No redness. Most excellent. So what I'm going to do next is a facial sensations test. Mm -hmm. Can you please close your eyes and tell me where I'm touching you on your face? Okay. Try to localize it as best as you can. Okay. Um, that was my forehead. Forehead, very good. My chin. Very good. That was my, my cheek. Left or right? My right cheek. Very good. My nose, my eyebrow. Oh, my ears. <laughs> Good. <laughs> what the go? Oh, that's my jaw. Very good. And can you please tell me if you feel this equally on both sides of your forehead? Yes, I do. Okay. Equally on both sides of your cheeks? Mm hmm. Equally on both sides of your jawline? Yes. How about you? That's my color. Or in the middle of my... I feel it. Very good. And 
and you feel this equilibrium both sides of your shoulder. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent. May I please have your palm? This is sharp and this is dull. Continue keeping your eyes closed and tell me which one I'm touching your face with, sharp or dull. Okay. All right, here's the first one. And dull. Very good. How about this one? Mm, that was sharp. Very good. And this one? And dull. Very good. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Sharp. Dull. Very good. So, no concerns whatsoever with the skin sensitivity on your face? Yes. Can you please look at me and give me a big white smile? Excellent. And a frown. Puff out your cheeks for me. Don't let me unpuff them. Very good. Raise your eyebrows as high as they go. Hi, hi, hi. I'm gonna attempt to lower them. Don't let me do that. Very good. I have strong eyebrows. You do. <laughs> <laughs> um, try to keep your head steady. Straight. I'm going to attempt to move it side to side. Don't let me do that. Very good. And yeah, opposite direction too. Excellent. Shrug your shoulders up for me. Raise them. Yep. Excellent. Can you squeeze my hands? Yes. Good. <laughs> Can you do the OK sign for me? I'm going to try to pull through it. Don't let me do that. Very good. Excellent. Can you please move your, put, put your hands like this? Excellent. Mm -hmm. No tremor indicated. I'm going to attempt to spread them apart. Don't let me do that. Very good. And then I'm going to attempt to raise them. Don't let me do that. Excellent. And I'm going to attempt to lower them. Don't let me do that. Very good. So you have very strong muscles. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I work on them sometimes. Very good. <laughs> Next up, I'm going to focus on your eyes. Have you ever had any problems with your vision, blurred vision, double vision? Um, well, I do wear prescription contacts, okay. so I've had a blurry vision, but I have contacts and glasses at home. All right. Do you know the prescription numbers for your eyes? Um, it's like negative five, and then the other one is the same almost. The I can't same. really remember it. Okay. <laughs> I have negative eight and negative five, so. Oh my god. I know how that is. Yes, <laughs> I also wear contacts. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so you can keep your contacts on for now. Um, I'm going to check the pupil response in your eyes. Can you look right at the tip of my nose right here? Mm -hmm. I'm going to flash my light in your eyes and I'm going to just check how your pupils reacted. Okay. Okay, so continue looking right there. Very good. Right there. So pupils dilate and contract in the normal amount at the normal expected rate. Yes. Excellent. Next up, we're going to do a little test. So I want you to mirror me, touch your nose, and now I want you to look into my eyes and not break eye contact, and I want you to touch my finger with your finger. Excellent, continue keeping eye contact. Back to your nose, touch my finger, back to your nose. Touch my finger, back to your nose. Not my nose, your nose. <laughs> I'm so focused. All right, okay. continue keeping eye contact. Okay. Touch your nose. And now touch my finger, back to your nose. My finger, your nose. Now I'm going to switch hands, my finger, and then back to your nose. Touch my finger again, and back to your nose. Excellent. Yes. <laughs> so very good coordination there. Um, good peripheral vision, so no concerns whatsoever. Yay! I'm glad I'm doing fine. I seem healthy. Oh, you are. Yes, absolutely. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to take a look at the base of your eyes with my light, so just look straight for me. And I'm just going to check for any jaundice, any popped blood vessel. Can you look down for me? And now to the right. And to the left. And up. X. 
Excellent. Next up, I'm going to focus on your ears. Okay. Have you ever had any problems hearing, any tinnitus? No. Not that I can recall. All right. I'm pretty sure I can hear properly. Like, 100%. All right. We're going to test your hearing as well. Okay. Is it okay if I come close and touch your ears? Mm -hmm. Okay, just relax for me. I'm just feeling the outside of your ears for any lumps, bumps, tenderness. Any discomfort when I pull up on your ears? Mm -mm. How about when I pull down? No. Very good. Alright, so I have here what's called an otoscope. This is going to allow me to visualize the inside of your ear. Mm -hmm. So just relax for me and I'll be checking your tympanic membrane. Right, no external discharge. Your oracle is perfectly normal. Okay, can you please look over to your left side? Normal tympanic membrane, pearly grey color, well-defined margins and no signs of any infection or inflammation. Very good. I'm going to do the same on the other ear as well. Okay. All right, now I can look over to your right. I'm going to check the ear oracle first. No discharge, no redness or swelling. All right, it's your ear canal as well. Normal tympanic membrane, pearly grey color, no ear wax, no signs of any infection or inflammation. Very good. Yes. All right, Diana, so everything looks okay uh, with your ears. I'm going to do a quick hearing test next. Okay. Right. I have here a tuning fork. I'm going to strike it and cause a vibration that's also going to make a sound mm -hmm. and I'm going to place it next to your ear in two positions. This is position number one and then position number two and I want you to tell me first if you hear the sound and which position is louder. Okay. So that's position one and position two. So do you hear the sound okay. and which position was louder? Position one. Very good. I'm going to repeat the same test over on the other ear. Position one and position two. Mm, position one. And you hear the sound. Mm. Very good. Excellent. Now continue keeping your eyes closed and tell me if you hear the sound that I'm making with my hands moving further away from you, getting quieter, or getting louder, moving towards you. Okay. Moving towards me. Very good. Moving away from me. Very good. Moving away. And then coming close. Very good. And continue keeping your eyes closed. Can you tell me if you fear, hear the sound from your left towards your right or from your right towards your left? Okay. Right to left. Left to right. Very good. And now tell me if you hear it going from um, up above, down below, or the opposite way. Um, it went from down here to up there. Very good. How about now? Up there to down here. Excellent. So no problems whatsoever with your hearing, your ears, your hearing perfectly healthy. Yes. Very good. Awesome. I'm going to focus on your nose next. Have you ever had any problems smelling? Runny nose that doesn't go away, abnormal discharge? Mm, I get a runny nose sometimes, but usually it's just when I get, I don't know, allergic to like pollen and stuff. Okay. And then it goes away, it doesn't persist. Mm -hmm. Alright, very good. So I'm going to take a look inside your nose. 
can look up for me. Uh, no nasal obstruction noted. No discharge. And same with the other nostril. Excellent. I'm also going to palpate your nose and feel for any lumps or bumps. Okay. Close your eyes and let me know if you feel any pain. Any pain? No, I don't feel any pain. How about tonight? This? Mm -mm. Or this? No. Excellent. I'm going to give you something to smell next. Mm -hmm. So let's see how well you smell. <laughs> All right. So first with your nostrils unobstructed. Blueberries. Very good. Excellent. It smells really good. <laughs> I have here a different smell. Mm -hmm. Can you please cover one nostril for me? And tell me what this smells like. It smells like tangerines. Tangerines. Citrusy. Very good. And can you please cover the other nostril for me? And let's see if you can identify this final smell. Pineapples. Pineapple. Excellent. Your nose is perfectly healthy. Yes. Okay. Next up, I'm going to focus on your mouth. Have you ever had any dryness that doesn't go away or extra, you know, salivation? Mm. No, very good. All right, can you please open your mouth for me? I'm going to just take a look inside the back of your throat. No inflammation noted, no cankers or sore, good teeth. Can you stick out your tongue for me? Okay, move it up and down, left and right. And can you try to push through your cheek with your tongue over on your right side and your left side. Very good. Excellent. I'm going to give you something to taste next mm -hmm. and I'd like you to identify the taste. Mm -hmm. So this is one essence. Can you please stick out your tongue for me? What does that taste like? Kind of like cherries. Cherries, very good. It's very hard to identify that one sometimes. Mm -hmm. yeah, I taste it. All right, I have here a second essence. A little bit different. Mm -hmm. Let's see if you can identify this one. Like a mint. Mint, very good. So no problems whatsoever with um, all 12 of the cranial nerves that control your face, your five senses. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like you to please lay down for the next part of the exam so I can listen to your tummy and examine your legs and your feet. Okay. Okay, Diana, so I'm going to take a look at your tummy. Mm -hmm. um, ascultate, so listen to the internal sounds of your abdomen um, and percuss. So just relax for me and you can breathe normally. Okay. I'm going to start off with the light palpation. Is it okay if I bring your pants just a little bit down? Mm -hmm. All right. Excellent. Starting off with the light palpation. And going in a little bit deeper. I'm checking for the sizes of all your major organs. Mm. I'm very hungry. <laughs> all normal sound. Liver is not enlarged. Your stomach has the normal size. 
gonna press down on your kidneys. Any discomfort right here? Mm -mm. No masses, which is very good. Going to do a light percussion next. in my stethoscope. This is going to be a little bit cold, I do apologize. Okay. to hear activity in all four quadrants, no swooshing or gurgling but normal activity coming from your intestine, intestinal tract and your bowel, normal tummy activity. Do you have any problems with your tummy usually? Um, not really, no. So good digestion. I am really hungry though. Very good, so normal sound. All good. No signs of any edema on your arms, normal skin temperature, no excess sweating. I'm gonna focus on your legs next. Okay. All right, Diana, I'm going to check your legs and your feet next. Just starting with the light palpation, checking for any signs of edema. Do you feel any discomfort when I'm palpating? No. How about on this leg? No, I don't Very good. Any discomfort here on your kneecaps? Mm -mm. Okay. Is it okay if I remove your socks? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wish I had a <laughs> like this very good I'm gonna start off with the light palpation of your plantar region over on your right foot capillary refills within two seconds which is normal no pain noted by the patient when palpating the plantar region I'm going to check the pedal pulse, 2 plus, which is normal. All right. Do you feel this? Mm -hmm. Very good. I'm going to check the other foot as well. Just the light palpation of the plantar region. No pain noted. You feel this? Yes. Very good. Capillary refills with two within two seconds, which is normal. Gonna check the pulse over on your left foot as well. Two plus. Gonna compare it with the pulse on your other foot. Pulses are synchronized. All right, I'm going to attempt to bring your toes towards your head. Don't mm -hmm. let me do that. 
Very good. Now I'm going to attempt to bring your toes towards me. Don't let me do that. Very good. I'm going to attempt to spread your legs apart. Don't let me do that. Excellent. Do you feel any pain when I press up? No. Any pain when I try to twist your ankle? Mm -hmm. And how about here? No. Very good. Excellent. Can you tell me which leg I'm touching you on, left or right? Right. Left. And where am I touching you right now? Maybe top. And how about now? My pinky toe. Very good. Do you feel this? Yes. How about this? Yes. This? Mm -hmm. And this? Yes. Excellent. I'm going to do the Babinski test next. On your right foot. Negative Babinski. I'm going to do the same test over on your left foot. Negative Babinski. Excellent. So your legs are perfectly healthy. You can come back up now. Mm. All right, Diana. So I did a very thorough examination starting from your head all the way down to your toes. I was not able to find anything abnormal so very good news for today yeah. just going to take a couple of notes in your chart to make sure that we have a good record mm -hmm. of all of these positive results so normal vital signs all 12 of your cranial nerves work as expected, normal abdominal sounds, vision, hearing, taste, sensations, and then finally your legs and your feet. Um, nothing abnormal was noted. Yay! Excellent. Thank you so much for coming to my practice today. Do you have any questions for me, Diana? I don't have any questions, but thank you as well. I like that my body is perfectly healthy. Excellent. <laughs> I do recommend that you come for a more thorough back exam just to make sure that you know nothing wrong is, is going on with your back. Mm -hmm. And then I can take a look at your posture as well and see if we can fix a little bit the posture so you don't get the back pain. Alrighty. Very yeah. good. Nice seeing you today. Nice seeing you too.